India has granted duty-free and quota-free access to Bangladesh on all but 25 items. Indo-Bangladesh trade at over 7 billion US dollar makes Bangladesh our second largest trading partner in South Asia. Connectivity is the catalyst for deeper engagement. We have launched three bus services that will connect our citizens more easily. I firmly believe that connectivity by road, rail, reverse, sea, transmission lines, petroleum pipelines, and digital links must increase. Regional connectivity and cooperation between Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal must also be deepened. We have worked out mutually beneficial arrangements allowing movement of goods from Bangladesh through India to Nepal and Bhutan and from mainland India through Bangladesh to India's northeast. These are significant steps forward which have been enabled by the close cooperation and frequent interaction of senior leaders of the two countries. India attaches the highest importance to bilateral relations with Bangladesh. We have always believed that a strong, stable and prosperous Bangladesh is in India's interest as it is applicable to all other neighboring countries, which is a pivot of our good neighborly policies. Indo-Bangladesh relations today <coughs> are at the best they ever have been since 1974. They are based on mutual benefit, equality, and respect for sovereignty. Indian investments in Bangladesh will help to create jobs and upgrade technology. This will make Bangladesh economy more competitive and increase exports. It is for this reason that the two governments have agreed to cooperate to set up an Indian special economic zone in Bangladesh. This is another big step forward towards restoring historic connection between our business opportunity com communities which will serve <coughs> both well. There is huge untapped potential to develop renewable energy like solar and wind. The stage is now set for a quantum jump for our relations. I am confident the, the coming days will see a significant intensification of cooperation to eradicate poverty, enhance growth, promote trade and investment, as well as fight the forces of terrorism, extremism, and fundamentalism.